tutorial I want to look at the two issues of replacing footage that's already in your timeline with other footage and also how we can drop items in with the mouse as opposed to having to use the keyboard all the time and we can do an insert edit. So let's just start with an insert edit. Now at the moment I've got my current time indicator here but say I want to put a new clip at the beginning of this sequence. Say for instance I've got this clip right at the beginning of waves and I want these waves to come in right at the beginning. I can click and drag and pull it to the beginning and you'll see that it's going to overwrite everything. But if I hold the control key on a PC, the command key on a Mac, I'm going to get these arrows showing me that all the other clips are going to be moved along. And this is an insert edit. It's not inserting at the playhead, it's inserting where I decide I want it to insert. So I could, for instance, put it to this point to hit the control key or the command key on a Mac and it would insert at that point. And as soon as I let go of my mouse, before I let go of my control key, you'll see that I've inserted that clip in there. So that's how you can do insert edit with a mouse, taking it to wherever you want it to be on your timeline. The other issue is what if you want to replace a piece of footage? So I've got this piece of footage here of the boat coming in, and say I think I need to change it for another piece of footage. Well, there's a number of ways of doing it. At the moment, I've got footage open in my source monitor and in my clip bin, but firstly I'm going to clear it out of my source monitor by doing close all, so I've got nothing in my source monitor. So if I select this clip and I right click it, I've got replace clip with, and the only option I have is from bin. And it's going to replace it with the item that is selected. So let me just select another item, so if I select these waves coming over and I right click it, and I do replace clip from bin, click, and you'll see that I now have the waves where the boat once went. Control Z to undo. There is another way to do it with your mouse. I can literally take the clip and drag it over the clip I want to replace. So you can see that's the clip I want to replace. And if I then hold the Alt key on a PC, you're going to see that it will replace the clip. And it's important to say that if I've already applied effects and I've got an in and an out point specified for this clip, it's going to absolutely match the in and out points and respect the effects and everything that I've done to it so that when I let go with my mouse first it's a perfect match. Control Z to undo. That's exactly the same with the other options, the right click options where we've got the other replace clips. Now the other two options are both linked with the source monitor which means you must have opened the clip in the source monitor first which means double clicking it here in the bin. So I'm going to double click and there it is open in the source monitor but this time I'm going to take it to the lobster pot over here and this is the one I want to replace. Now I haven't got an awful lot of footage selected here and I'm going to right click and I've got replace clip from and I can go from source monitor and it replaces it there. Notice it's got all that it needs, far longer than the actual in and out point we've got. I'm going to do control Z now. Now notice where my mouse is. Okay. It's the last option is really respecting where your mouse is and also notice that my clip here actually starts pretty close to the beginning. Okay, now I'm going to start my mouse here, so halfway through this clip and right click and I'm going to go replace clip with and I'm going to go from source monitor match frame and when I click that it says hang on a second the source clip lacks sufficient head material to match to the desired frame. So what it's trying to say is, I want to match where this playhead is in the clip with this frame, the displayed frame in my source monitor. And clearly I'm this far into my clip and there isn't that much headroom in this clip. So if I take the current time indicator on my source monitor and I move it along to a point whereby there is plenty of room, say about there, okay, so now what I'm going to be saying is, at this point in my timeline, make this frame in my source monitor match to exactly that point and then fill the rest of this clip with the rest of this clip. Okay, so I'll say that again. At this point where my current time indicator is on this clip, I want to replace this clip with this clip and this exact frame that I'm showing in my source monitor must be matched to exactly where the current time indicator is on this clip. So if I right click and I go replace with clip from source monitor match frame, click OK, it matches, and you can see that's exactly the same frame, it matches because there's enough headroom to be able to fill this part, and there's enough tail room to be able to fill that part. So that's how you can do an insert edit with the mouse, 
and those are the options for replacing clips so that you can get them exactly right for the action of your shot.